everybody into the pool except Bart. The Simpsons here on 4 in an hour. Right after the new Paul O'Grady show with George and Pam. Hi, honey. How was work? I'm shattered. Me too. I've been flat out all day. And when did you actually get up? About half an hour ago, but since then, it's just been work, work, work. <laughs> the Paul O'Grady <laughs> Show is sponsored by Schwartz. Tonight, George Hamilton, Pam Ferris, and a world record spectacular. <laughs> Welcome, Paul O'Grady! Thank you very much. <laughs> you all right, yeah? Yeah? yeah. Olga, get off me post bag. Oh. <laughs> Well, I've had a bit of... I don't know about that, like, you know, Buster's been very ill. He had an ulcer on his eye. Oh. Yeah. And um, they were saying, oh, he might be going blind because of it. But the place where he's in, they're marvellous. And um, what they've managed to do is they're, they're dealing with the infection. I've forgot this right, I hope I have. And they're going to do a little graft on his cornea. And hopefully next week he'll pop in to say hello. But only quick, you know, briefly. Like Greta Garbo, he'll sleep in. <laughs> Lift his glasses. Oh, I've had a shocking week worrying about that hound. I tell you, it's a right miserable show, this. The host had a heart attack and the dog's half dead. <laughs> really cheerful. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. But the lovely Olga is with us, aren't you all? Yes. <laughs> Go on, Olga, do your trick. Talk about laid back, my dogs. Anyway, what we got? Let's see. Oh, we got birthdays. So I've got happy birthday to Ryan Wilmot and happy birthday to Wendy Brecken, who's 54 today. And happy birthday to Clar Clar I can't even say that. His teeth. Cl I sure I got the wrong teeth when I was in hospital. Clarissa <laughs> Berry, age nine today. Happy birthday to you three. What is this? <laughs> that looks like somebody you send somebody with a death threat, doesn't it? <laughs> What it? I hope that's not meant to be me. Look at the rotten pots. <laughs> dear, dear Mr. O'Grady, me and my sister Bethany. Oh, I know this is off. I've made a look-alike of you. <laughs> 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 to remind me of you when I don't see you. I told you told me I could cut you in half. <laughs> the things you say when you've had a drink. Oh. <laughs> Come back to mine, you can cut me in half. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's off Edward, the magic man. You know, little Edward. Oh, of course you can cut me in half, Edward. What are you saying, O'Grady? Shut up. Of course you can. <laughs> and thank you for that. I shall treasure it. Right. <laughs> Dear Paul, me and my friend Hannah got these sunglasses. Oh, I always get the lousy thing in a cracker and all. And thought they would look fantastic on you. We think you look like Paris Hilton. <laughs> Is she that blonde thing who looks like a whippet and drag? Paris Hilton. <laughs> Paris Hilton. <laughs> Will you please put them on and do a Paris Hilton pose for us? And Paris. <laughs> oh, all right, anything to keep you happy. And that's from Hannah and Freddie in Weymouth and Bridport. Please send us a nodding buster. I certainly will. Thank they actually they're quite nice, them, aren't they? What do you reckon? Yeah. I think I get into a fancy party. No more post bag. Okay, what about this child sat up all night doing this with sticky back plastic and glue and washing up bottles? <laughs> Gone half blind making this. Look, so I can show it to the nation. Look, look, Olga, look. I'll just show this bit. Somebody's made this for it was a little kid. Get it. This is from Glenn Russell in Grimsby. I know this is how much post you got in your last series, so I've made you this letter rack in the shape of Olga. Aww. Thank you. Look at that. I have to say that. I'm sorry. Thank you. Olga, look. Isn't that lovely, eh? Right, where to put me glasses? I've lost me glasses. <laughs> where to put me glasses? Oh, I've got them on. <laughs> 
I tell you, I'm losing it. I'm on medication. Oh, it's a good day today. <laughs> right. <laughs> Thanks for all your letters. Please keep them coming in. And we've got an extra special guest here today with the address. Please come on out with the address, Aaron. <laughs> Aaron, <laughs> look at that! For, how's that for the barnet, eh? <laughs> that was like me when I had the heart attack. What? <laughs> <laughs> this is Aaron Studham, and Aaron, you're he here to help us launch the Guinness World Records 2007 book, isn't it? And this is this is your record. Yep, yep. I own the world record for the world's tallest mohawk. And how how, how long is it actually when it's down? Uh, when it's down, it comes about my mid waist. It's fantastic. Yeah. Does it take you long to get it like that? Uh, it takes about an hour to put it in, in the air. Lots of hair lacquer. Yeah. Yeah, oh, it's brilliant. Do you think that's brilliant? Yeah. yeah. Come on. <laughs> and later on in the show, we're going to be measuring Aaron later on to see if he's broken his own record, and uh, we'll be breaking more records throughout the show, including our most dangerous one ever, as we celebrate the launch of the new book. Aaron, will you just do the address? So if you've got a stamp and a pen, it's this one. Turn around slowly so the hair doesn't go. There you go. And on the old email, the interweb, you've got this. Paul O'Grady at channel 4 dot something. There you go. Dot com. <laughs> dot com plus. You know what? Just type it in. <laughs> Cheers, Eddie. Give him a grand applause. See you later on. Thank you. How oh, fabulous. <laughs> I was a punk, you know, in my day. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> I'm punkish, you know, and I mean, I used to have bondage trousers. <laughs> it's a bloody old pair of tartan cacks with a buckle on the knee. <laughs> you know, my hair was a bit teased and put a bit of tangerine on it, so I can't tell you what I look like. I was 48. I mean, it looked ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> as well as Aaron and all these records, we've got two wonderful guests. We've got Mr. Hollywood himself, the one and only Mr. George Hamilton. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you something. Good old George is just here because he wants to be here. That's all. He's a great friend of the show. And we've also got one of the stars of that new show. Have you seen Jane Eyre? Yes. yes. It's good, isn't it? Do you like it? Yeah. I love all that. You know, creeping around with candles in the dark. <laughs> well, like my mother when we didn't have a shilling for the meter. No. <laughs> but it is. It's fabulous. Well, we've got one of the stars for that, that wonderful actress, Pam Ferris. Come on, let's hear you for Pam. <laughs> oh, okay. And also, one of you watching will win £10,000 cash. <laughs> now then, this is very, very... Olga, watch this, cos you like this. Look, this is very special, this. I'm going to unveil another record breaker. I've got to put a glove on for this. This... No, don't, Olga. This is from the British Museum, seriously. And it's the world's oldest fossilised raisin. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just put it there. Olga, don't. This, you, it's over a billion years old. Look at that. <laughs> um, that was from the British Museum. <laughs> That's a billion years old. That survived wars, the Crusades. You name it. So now you can eat the cotton wool? Fine. <laughs> I better keep these to clear it up then, at night. Right. <laughs> the... See, Buster wouldn't have had that. He'd have just looked at it with contempt. <laughs> well, I guess. <laughs> anyway, the green, green grass is Britain's most popular new city. Oh, no, I don't. I can't even... I'm joking because it upsets me so much. I can't tell you. The lather I've been in all week over Buster. But you, I'm digressing it. Leave that alone. You can't eat cotton wool. Oh, look, it's stuck to me. Oh, Olga, me nerves. <laughs> the <gri> <laughs> I'm never getting any more pets. I'll oh, say this, That's it. If I do, it's a piranha. Something easy to look after. <laughs> the Green Green Grass, not Tom Jones of Home, is Britain's most popular new sitcom, and our Susan had managed to sneak behind the scenes. Let's have a look at this while I have a lie down. Wow, oh, Olga, what have you done? Hi, it's Paul. Right. I'm here at the world-famous Tennington Studios. We're going behind the scenes of the Green Green Grass. What do I have to do to become popular around here? Move! <laughs> <laughs> 
Is Marlene's makeup different than Sue's makeup? I'm getting closer and closer to being this character. It's scary. <laughs> now, I do go out with a bit more slap on than I used to. But I quite like it getting the lashes on, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been getting the heads turning a bit. I wouldn't trust you to run a bath, let alone a town hall. <laughs> anyway, I don't think I'd like living with a mayor. You'll get used to it. I did. <laughs> Hello, I'm Hello. Susan. Hello, Susan. You all right? Fine, thank you. And you are Ella. You play? Mrs Cakeworthy. All oh, right, yeah. <laughs> I am an happily married woman, Bethany. But, and God forbid, but if anything tragic was to happen to my husband, I'd be in there like a stoot in a storm. <laughs> oh, this is the front door. This is the beautiful Shropshire countryside out here. Is it? Yes. Is it? Oh. No, it's where the crew get a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> John, can you tell us what scenes you're filming today? Oh, yes, indeed, yes. We've got the sort of exchange student thing going on with Tyler, and, mm. I, and I can't possibly reveal what happens. <gasps> can you? But as usual with, um, with John Sullivan's wonderful <clears throat> scripts, I mean, it all goes, to, all falls apart. Well, there you are. Well done, Susan. Up next, please don't touch my mini me. Thank you very much. <laughs> Up next, it's the lovely Pam Ferris, but first, it's competition time. And what is today's competition? No, really? Really? <gasps> it's your last chance to win how much? £10,000 in cash! <laughs> Lord of mercy. And before we reveal today's 10 grand question, here's what happened when we surprised yesterday's winner. There you go. Did we? Yeah, watch it out, Olga. Morning, Patricia. Oh, morning, come on, come Patricia. on, Patricia. Come, come here, come here, love. Come here, hey, love. You're all right. Good morning. How are you doing? All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We're from the Paul O'Grady show. Yeah. And uh, you went to the competition. I did. And you know what? You've won ten thousand pounds. Oh my God. Hey, yeah, how do you feel? We're here. We're, we're here. We're here. Congratulations. Congratulations. Come on, love. Hey, well yeah. done. Hey, absolutely <laughs> brilliant. Oh, fantastic. Today is your last chance to win £10,000. 